For this question, we are going to find out which of the following has a doubling time of 3 days. And as we can see, we have exponential functions here. So have a look. This is what you have to remember. So I will put down Q, stands for quantity. This right here is equal to little a, which stands for initial amount. And then we multiply by little b right here, and that's the gross factor. And the reason I'm using this is because we are talking about doubling time. So doubling means 2 for the base, right? So this right here is a gross factor 2. So that's why I'm using b. If the question is asking you for like gross by 20%, then you will do the 1 plus r. And then we have little t over capital T. What's this capital T, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. This capital T is the time period. So how long does it take, okay? The time period for the growth or sometimes decay. Well, in this case, it will be the growth because doubling means you multiply by two, so you are getting more and more. But sometimes if the question is saying half-life, then that means you are getting less and less, so it will be decay. But anyway though, the capital T is the time period for the, for the growth or the decay to happen. And because right here it says three days, right? Doubling time of three days, it means it will take you three days for the quantity to be doubled. It. So we must have a divided by three right here for the exponent. And as you can see among all this, Choice D is it. 2 right here is the gross factor, which is the 2, right? It's a gross factor, that means doubling. And then when we have x over 3, this 3 is exactly the time period for this to be doubled. It. And the 7 is just the initial amount. So all in all, D is the answer. And this one looks okay, right? You have the three, so be careful. And likewise here, you also have the three. Really be careful. You really have to remember this form right here, right? So, that's it.